please subscribe, like and share. Ghana Rise Yes. <laughs> <laughs> A bigger history because of the coverage, because advocacy is crucial. And uh, the foundation which you represent, as you know, got involved with CARI to do the advocacy work in Ghana and beyond. And uh, it seems the campaign is really progressing very well, making great impact. I was in Nigeria not too long ago. I was invited to um, in one of the states, mid belt or towards the north, where rice growing is taken very seriously. It took somebody from our group, the foundation side, uh, one of the, I would describe as an expert, to go to uh, advocate with the farmers there. And they are so impressed with the work our man did that when I got there, the farmers traveled from even other states to meet me and to honor me for the work uh, our advocates are going to do with them. Uh, to the extent that now Nigeria is boasting of becoming uh, self-dependent with their rice output, and I believe that their government is already making laws or about to make laws too stop importation of uh, foreign rice to Nigeria. Uh, Ghana has the no knowledge, the know-how. And then we've got uh, the farmers, now the uh, industrialists, when you talk of the value chain. Uh, we've got everything. We are a much smaller population. So I believe Ghana too should be able to do it. And we should be able to declare within foreseeable future, when I say that in the short term, that Ghana would not use its scarce hard currency to bring rice from faraway places. And their rice would not even be fresh. Rice that perhaps had been stored for 10 years or so, lost its all, uh, all its nutrients. Is what they would come and dump on us. So I welcome you, and uh, I've been following the news. Uh, the glut that uh, seems to have been achieved in the north recently, but it came with some sad news that uh, there wasn't market enough. So whatever uh, sack they sold, the farmers sold, they needed to add uh, another bag, and that one is not fair. So I believe uh, we should work on the value chain. Uh, the millers that should be the first stage, perhaps after the, the harvest. Give us a uh, very modern uh, uh, milling. So our rice would not be full of grit and that sort of thing. That's, the, the, my friend there has come from the north. Mahmoud, yes, sir. are you a rice grower from Tamale? Yes, yeah. I'm part of the group executives in the north. Look yes. at that. So you know him? Yes. He's been my colleague for more than 20 years. Yes, sir. Uh. Yeah. So um, once we tackle problems like uh, enabling the farmers to sell, to, to get a fair price for the efforts, and then up the chain uh, in terms of uh, transportation, handling, uh, milling, uh, storage, and then marketing. When we do that, we do all these things, and everybody will be happy. It wouldn't be just the farmer getting good returns for his efforts, uh, nor the transporter, and say even the laborers that would carry, and then the millers, and then the consumers, everybody will be happy and we will be able to compete against uh, the importers. Um, we should also lobby to get policy to assure the traders, the importers, 
that even when we stop importation from abroad, they will still be in business because uh, whether from the uh, farm gate or from the millers factory or from wherever, we would still need some middle people doing business. And uh, so everybody would be happy if we approach the problem in an integrated way. And uh, I'm happy, uh, I'm happy the foundation bearing my name is playing a role in this. And uh, I also thank you for remembering that 8th December with God's will is my birthday. So you've come, you've come at the right time <laughs> with whatever. Um, we are going to sample, all right. <laughs> in this house, we've been eating Ghana made rice. Yes. And we'll continue to, because we believe in it. And we believe it's good food, fresh food. Uh, we trace the sources all right. Uh, unlike uh, other rice that we do not know where it comes from. So thank you for coming, and uh, then beyond my birthday, of course, Christmas is also around the corner. And uh, the relationship, the partnership should, should be intensified. So we continue to talk uh, for the course. Thank you for coming, Nana. 2008, when you left office, we followed your advocacy very well, and um, we all went into rice farming, and today, um, I'm, the, I'm the president of the Ghana Rice Interprofessional Body. Uh, we've worked very hard. Uh, we've um, done a lot of work with um, um, your foundation. And um, coming from, two, from 2000 up to date, we've seen um, that um, rice production has increased. Yes. We've seen a lot of um, technologies being introduced yes. in the rice sector. We've seen um, a lot of good equipment, like good meals, coming in. That is why today we have Millers Association as yes. part of um, uh, Ghana Rice, chain, yeah. with a few of your work that you started uh, 2000, uh, back when you were in office. Um, I think all of us in the value chain um, would like to show our appreciation to you by um, coming here today present to you with one of your products. I just want to say thank you very much for your hard work and your advice. Your foundation has also done very well in the rice sector, especially with grape. It has been a pillar for us, and we hope to continue the relationship as you say. Ah, Ghana rice, oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much.